Welcome back to the five. By the way, I was ask here, uh, Bob. People keep twittering me or whatever that is called, <laughs> saying, "Do you really believe the stuff you say?" The answer is yes. Uh, I, but somebody needs to tell dear old Rick Perry to think before he talks. <laughs> you no, can't he, be the person he's that tells him. Some heat. Yes, I can. <laughs> you he's can't. Made some heat over these comments he made about Social Security. He said, "Quote: It is a Ponzi scheme for these young people. The idea that they're working and paying into Social Security today." That the current program is going to be there for them is a lie. It's a monstrous lie on this generation, and we can't do that to them. No, Rick, what you say is a lie. Let's go to a conference. Now, listen, now, Rick Perry, in, in about two weeks, has called the, uh, uh, the head of the, the Federal Reserve a tra uh, traitor. He has got himself in some bad financial uh, 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 contribution scandals down in Texas. Uh, the guy is uh, now, and, you know, he's now said this about a Ponzi scheme. And, he, and, and Dana gave him some cover the other day and said, you know, he, really, he wrote that in a book a year ago. Well, he just repeated it in no, Iowa. That wasn't Good boy, the cover. Rick. He's Good just idea. a regular oh. Bob Beckel, isn't Bob. it? I think we got, well, I if that's the case, would you elect straight. Bob Beckel president? No. I would. i got to set the record straight. I wasn't saying it, it for cover. I was saying it's not like he wrote it 20 years ago. He wrote it just last year. No, yeah. You're you right. You're, you're you exactly right. You said that. By the way, what, way. I'm sorry. That's fine. But by the way, what exactly is wrong with what he said? The, the definition of a Ponzi scheme <laughs> is getting in early so you get your return from other people who come in after you. That's Social Security. Exactly. And, 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 no, not only that, Greg, it's not just Social Security. It's the whole budget. Yeah. It's the whole federal government because there's supposed to be $2.3 trillion in the Social Security Trust Fund. Right, Bob? Yes. How much is in there? Two point three trillion. There's treasury. Oh, bonds. IOU. Yeah, right. You remember no, Dumb well, Treasury and Dumb. bonds. Remember when Dumb and Dumber? They said, "Don't worry about spending all the drug dealers' money. I put IOUs in there that we're good for." It. <laughs> That's uh, it's the same thing. It's all a Ponzi scheme, right? We put IOUs in the in the Social Security Trust Fund and hope that the Treasury can pay Listen, off the I, IOU. I spent, my, I'm sorry. I spent my entire political career scaring people to death about Social Security going away. I know something about this. The idea that it's true, I never believed it was true when we said it. It's not true now. These kids are going to get all the Social Security they pay in. But the upside is you were lying before. That was the upside. Yeah. Well, that was just to get votes and get my mother to go to the polls. I, look, I You're think, the best. All right, now let's go said, to Perry. What, I, what, what do you want to move on to? I think that... Hold on a minute. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I think that what Rick Perry said is absolutely true. I mean, speaking from somebody who will, by the time it's projected, maybe be collecting Social Security benefits, yeah. by 20, what is it, 2017, Social Security will be will not be able to pay out more than it collects. You've got 80 million baby boomers coming in the system. 2037, it's going to be drained. I so you've got to do something I'm about sorry, it. I'm sorry, I got my crying towel out for well, you. And what will now, mean more? Look, we got to talk about, about Rom it. we got to talk about Romney versus Perry. Talk about Dumb and Dumber. Um, uh, there is a, a lot of heat going down between the two of them. <laughs> and, so uh, uh, you know, now, finally, Romney has decided that Perry is a real serious obstacle to him, and he's starting to take him on a little bit. You know, we're, we're, don't we have this animation? When, every time you say something smart and it comes true a couple of days later, we have this big, you know, genie hat thing on. Didn't we all say Rick Perry was the real deal? I think I held up a little Rick Perry face. He is the real deal. Well, he's he's share wiping out the field. <laughs> that what wasn't his question, though. <laughs> what, I mean, the point, the question is whether or not question? Romney thinks that Rick Perry is a more serious threat than yeah. he would have Are thought about. Are you kidding me? He's 30-something percent to 17 percent. I think he better start taking no, that's his Perry point. seriously. You know, well, should funny, he start taking shots at him? That's the question. The funny thing is, when you look, at, you look at Romney now, it's like that look you have when you leave the mall to the parking garage. And, and you can't, can't find, find your car. car. <laughs> he can't find his campaign. He's like, he's got the look on his face. It all. Where, where did his car go? Do you know it's how many gone. cars I, I lost in parking lots of places? It's well, well, you lost one on Saturday. I did lose on Saturday. <laughs> but listen, what were you saying about this? He's got to start doing it now, right? I mean, realistically. No, I think he needs to start taking shots immediately if he wants to stay alive. Romney has to start taking off. I know that he didn't probably from a tactical perspective. He wants to not stick his head out of there. He's hoping he can just get through the caucuses and, and be okay. I think yeah. one of the ways he's got to throw punches. I think one of the ways he can do it is through a pro active punch. Okay, so on Tuesday next week, he's going to, a week from today, uh, Governor Romney, candidate for president, will unveil his plan for jobs, and it will be detailed. And I think in some ways you could say, I've been here, I've done it in business, and I can lead this country forward. He doesn't have to take pot shots at well, Perry all the time. Yeah, but yeah. you know what his pot shot at Perry was the other day was he called him a career politician. We don't need career politicians. Right. Now, 
one of Perry's major arguments for him is that he created all these jobs in Texas, which, again, was a lie. It was done by the oil industry. Oh. But leaving that aside, Romney's main pitch was from the beginning that he's a job creator. I mean, seriously, from a thematic standpoint, he's got a problem here. If Rick Perry steals that away from him, mm -hmm. what has he got to run on? Well, he's, he's got nothing. He's got <laughs> hair. That's right hair. Here's part of the problem. Right, when Bob. you have a glass chin... You don't pick a fight, right? So Romney has all these little skeletons in the closet that if he wants to pick a fight with Perry, Perry opens the closet and says, well, there's, oh, oh, there's, there's Obamacare, you know, there's your cap and trade, there's your you know, your, your It's going to happen eventually. Choice, uh, they're you know, gonna take, it's going to happen eventually where they're in, I mean, they're addressing each other head on. If so why not up, start if, early, especially if, if your campaign is flailing like Romney's he, is. If you open up Rick Perry's uh, closet, it would sound like the Boston pops at the 4th of July. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Boston. This guy has got more July. stuff that is so coming out slowly. Oh, you never heard of the Boston Pops before? No, but I'm trying to figure out the analogy. What, what, the analogy? Bob's the closet. Bar, never, Bob's never mind, closet. never mind. You know, it usually gets last for people who are tuned in. Okay, they just told me I had to tease. Okay, producer, I will. Stay with the five, because we are, have a lot more on 2012. Oh, and the Republicans, so interesting. News to cover, including Michelle Bachman. Oh, yes, another story. Crossover support and the White House's response to rumors. Hillary Clinton is planning a 2012 run. Watch that one. Stand up for your right.